Well, all eyes are on Governor Brian Kemp to see if he vetoes any legislation that was passed this session. Some groups are threatening lawsuits if certain bills are not signed. Atlanta News first reporter Abby Casoris reports that top Republicans are feeling pretty confident all the way down to the wire. Governor Brian Kemp signing more than 100 bills so far during the 40 day signing period following the 2024 legislative session. Anything he does not sign still becomes law. He could still veto anything he disagrees with. The American Civil Liberties Union of Georgia saying they'll sue the state if the governor signs Senate Bill 189, an elections bill cutting down the number of required polling machines and expanding voter eligibility challenges. It's really unfortunate that this bill perpetuates the idea that there is something wrong with the counting of votes. Georgia's election laws passed in 2021 holding up in court. If uh, we were concerned about all the legal challenge, uh, uh, challenges that we may get this session, we probably wouldn't have passed anything. The Speaker of the House, John Burns, says the big bills he wanted, the governor has already signed. School choice and funding for pre-K programs. I live in rural Georgia and there should be no, no no student left behind in rural Georgia when it comes to uh, ability to receive a quality education, no matter what their zip code is, we say. The lieutenant governor in the Senate fighting for changes to the state's certificate of need policy, increasing tax breaks for rural hospitals, and expanding who would qualify. If at the end of the day, people uh, want a quality of life. Wherever they live, they want good quality of life, and that's uh, that includes education, that includes access to health care, and that includes public safety. Several groups are trying to pressure the governor to veto bills before the May 7th deadline. The governor's office says they have no updates on any possible vetoes. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Casores.